I'm not sure why I kept the old wooden box I found in my great-grandmother's attic. It was plain and ordinary, but something about it drew me in. The box was locked, no key in sight, but I still took it home, thinking it'd make an interesting decoration. When I finally managed to get it open a week later, there was only a single, antique mirror inside. It was oval-shaped, the silvering worn away in spots, revealing a dull, copper back. At first glance, it was just an old mirror, nothing more. But the longer I stared into it, I began to notice something unsettling. My reflection was... Off. Minute details were wrong, a scar on the wrong side of my face, my hair parting the opposite way. Even my eyes seemed to be a different color. But the most alarming part was when my reflection smiled, even though I wasn't smiling. I tried to ignore it, but it began to escalate. My reflection started to do things minutes before I did. It was like it knew what I was about to do. One time, I saw it leave the room, only for my phone to ring moments later, prompting me to leave. Worse still, it started to whisper things. Terrible things. Secrets no one else could know, predictions of the future that came true. It warned me about a car crash, a fire, even a death in the family. The last time I looked into that mirror, my reflection wasn't there. Instead, I saw a room, filled with people crying. I couldn't recognize the place, until I noticed the familiar decor. It was my living room. Everyone was gathered around something, their faces filled with sorrow. I strained to see what it was, only to be filled with terror when I saw myself, lifeless on the floor. The mirror hasn't shown my reflection since then, just that horrifying scene, playing on loop.